and welcome back guys to the LP of Cross of Iron. So we're continuing on from the last time fighting for the Kremlin and we're still fighting for the Kremlin. <laughs> oh god, you know the last one was so bad for us. I mean, you know, it was because if you look at here, we got damaged Panzer 3J. Our gun got damaged, we're gonna have refit again. Well, the first time it is. Uh, two crew members injured. That is me and another one. And of course, Chops is now ready for combat. As you can see, he's all awesome. Ripley needs rest, but I... Well, actually, I'm gonna rest Ripley. Because I'm gonna add a new stuff that's gonna be engineering squad. Because we lost the Fox squad. Fox squad is gone. <laughs> oh, man. You know, like, the thing, like, wow. You know, fire bats. Yeah, why not? Fire bats. Uh, <coughs> unless that goes together, fire bats. Fire bats. Nah, like this. Fire bats. Yeah. Anyway, fire bats. <laughs> uh, or, or, you know, they're gonna be the new guys. I chose it to have engineering squad. I thought about it and I said, you know what? Engineering squad has much going for it. For instance, engineering squad, let's see detail. It has three MP40s and three car 98s, okay? Has a half mines, has bundle grenades and one dynamite crap and MG34. Quite a big thing compared to the rifle squad who has like one MG34, five car 98, 98, and one MP40. Has a Molotov and wait, that is not only oh, not, not MG34, has the Panzer Bushi 39, uh, the, the anti tank rifle that is, as the Molotov, one bundle grenades, and that about it. Reality wise, I prefer what uh, the engineering squad has and plus has the winter gear so these guys will at the moment replace the right Ripley and after that well let's see how this actually goes the Viper team uh, needs a little bit of refit heavy machine gun MG34 again still one is injured we need to rest to actually get these guys in action hurt one uh, so all in all most of these guys need uh, rest or refitting Let's refit the rifle squad here, wolf squad, uh, with the rifle shoots him. Yeah, shoots him. Okay, need still needs rest, of course. We're gonna do that after. Sniper D, uh, that's okay. The BFG needs a rename and a BFG, BF mother dragon G. Well, not the small F, though, but the big F. The BFG. So let's see how this is gonna go because this uh, next one again is the same battlefield moving on, you know, well, let's see how this is gonna go. So red and blue are back in action, as you can see, full more, as I said before, full morale and they're a-okay. <sighs> so we only have at the moment Ripley, who is actually re resting and that's about it. The map is the same, everything is the same, except that this time around we have the engineering squad, the fire bats, and they're gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. It just, just, I have a bad feeling still. <laughs> but it's gonna be interesting nonetheless. Suppositioning! Okay, uh, there are like destroyed stuff, but uh, the wrong stuff. I think. No, maybe not. I don't know. Because, you know, like, this is not T28 that we destroyed. This looks like KV2 wreck. And this definitely looks like a different... All in all, different wrecks, I think. In total. <laughs> Lol. Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you, game. Whatever. <laughs> like, I killed the KV2 right. Okay, so it definitely... For instance, in later parts of the... Like, for instance, in Panthers in the Fog, the, all the dead wrecks are actually the dead wrecks of the destroyed tanks you actually destroy. Not the ones that are not... We didn't even touch. KV2 was not killed, and this was and this tank and this tank, of course, were actually only the APCs, quite useless. Uh, BFG, wow, good choice, <laughs> good choice to be over there, far, far back. Okay, so BFG, I don't know if the possibility of BFG to go actually on Spassky Gate, which would be perfect actually. Uh, Viper squad, let's see. Uh, first, I have to uh, put the BFG somewhere close. Okay, so BFG needs to be get somewhere closer. Okay, so let's see. Where can we put him where he can actually be of any use? He's not of any use there. Okay, so he de definitely can, but because actually this is a neutral terrain, so we can actually put our stuff there. Kind of depressing now. 
Uh, let's see. We can put him there. Okay. Can we put him there? No, we can't. But we can definitely put him here. Let's see. Is he able to actually do anything? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> he isn't really able to do anything. Uh, yeah. Definitely not a good position for the BFG. But he can definitely do it to the side shots. But again, quite useless. Quite useless. Uh, I don't know where actually to put the BFG where his uh, shots would actually matter and not get owned by something here. Maybe we can put him. No, it seems we can't actually put him into Spassky Gate. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Nope, nothing. Okay, so that goes away also. I was thinking of actually doing it like that, but no. That ain't gonna work, friend. That ain't gonna work. But I'm definitely gonna put him here. In this position here somewhere here yeah I mean sure he ain't gonna destroy over this uh, wreck but he's gonna have some kind of cover at least if nothing else some kind of cover yeah definitely will he will able to destroy most of the stuff so I'm gonna put the BFG in that position on ambush actually for now but again on defend because he's you he they will see him anyway all in all they will see him I'm gonna put actually my uh, Panzer 3J on this side here, defend, or maybe over here actually, I mean, I have good positions all in all, where I can actually put uh, my tanks, because I can actually put them around this position, and then just when I find out where the enemy actually is, just go around and attack from the sides. I think that alone could actually prove useful if we could actually do that. Uh, no, that uh, again, a fucking fields of. <laughs> you can't. Be, you can barely see the neutral grounds. That's kind of annoying. All in all, neutral ground, neutral. But we can actually cover this position here. So Charles will stay in the middle here. I want the Viper team or any team that can actually cover most of the areas here. On this position. Now we have again Berserker back. So Berserk team will actually do excellent job. An excellent job because they're gonna cover most of the ground alongside with the Viper but uh, of course we need to actually put the Viper in a very good position here they can actually they're all gonna go on ambush first and foremost they're all gonna go on ambush why on ambush because I want to ambush the enemy in near Presidium that is the most important thing there is now and ambushing an enemy near Presidium uh, okay the wall squad will uh, actually you know what, Wolf Squad, I don't know what to do with Wolf Squad. I definitely know what I'm going to do with the Sniper D. And that's actually, where, where is Sniper D anyway? So Sniper D is also over here. He's going to still stay at the same tower like the last time. Just going to defend and kill anything he can. Uh, fire bats. Uh, now, of course, I have two enduring, well, one enduring squad at the moment. Uh, they will cover this point here actually uh, yes the, this point well god damn it you know when you when they're all around you have to really move like this and then uh, yeah it's a little bit annoying to be honest but yeah that's okay okay now we have everyone here okay cool so the fire bats will go here they will actually try and cover the most of the ground in this position here and of course they will go on ambush actually okay on ambush because it would seem to be let's see the end the black the dark black is where the enemy might spawn so they might actually spawn right near me i think this is the one of those things i don't like is that you can barely see what is actually neutral what is actually be able to you know where you can actually see the enemy so the enemy can actually spawn here if they wanted like right be behind here and they own everything around this position kind of bad uh, so I'm gonna leave an ambush, yeah, an ambush here, and hopefully if the enemy gets close, we own them. Uh, demon, well, my Panzer 2J will stay here. As soon as we find the target, we will try and flank it if possible. Hopefully the 88 BFG doesn't get owned in the first shot. That would be kind of bad. The Berserk team, which is the heavy machine gun team, will stay in this position here and cover this. Again, we will make a nice covering point for everyone. Nobody is going to start shooting anyway. Well, anywhere that is, because at the moment we're just going to ambush anything we can. 
and oversee the enemy so they get close to us and they get on yes that's i mean sure we are overly too close to each other if you will but still i think it's gonna work so the blue and red i think they'll stay where they are yeah maybe here they can they even fire who knows <laughs> if they can fire from the spassky gate i'm unsure to be honest i'm gonna leave them here so okay so we, i think we set up everything we wanted to set up and hopefully this actually works well because if not that is gonna be a disaster remember that the 88 is the only one that can actually touch the enemy in any way we want so let's hope this goes a okay because if not i'm gonna cry like a little bitch okay chops here defend here actually also an ambush i think i have so many units on ambush now it's ridiculous okay let's begin I i'm scared shitless because of the 88 uh, the aka the bfg that's the only thing i'm worried about and there they are right in front of us right in front of us And they immediately open fire towards the fire bats. Hopefully, the fire bats actually don't get owned by this little crappy team of evil guys. I don't know, even Cossack probably infantry per usual. We're trying to grenade them, but it, it, we're missing. They're right there in the next room, and everybody is a little bit cowering, even though I am right there. Little bitches. That's the T 34 of evil. Excellent. Now we're being opened fire by the T-34. And there is another T-2. Oh, KV-2. Like a wrong place and wrong time. Man, it's just wrong everything. If these guys get owned because they're awesome like this, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be very bad. The thing is, we are alluring these guys towards my Panzer 3J, and that's a problem. They can own us like nobody's bitch because of this. God damn it. Just god damn it. This is bad. I'll have to sneak them out. Sneak out, sneak out, sneak out. Come on. This is bad. This is already bad. The enemy will just encircle us from this side and own anything that is close to them here. I wanted them to come towards the main square and get down there, but how this is moving is gonna be very, very bad. We have the KV2, which I want to destroy. We have the T34, uh, T20 also. And on BT-7A, this time around they really put out a uh, big firepower uh, and this is gonna be bad. Of course now we can't see the enemy right there. I knew that they would do something crappy like this. But I was hoping that this wouldn't be this bad. Honestly. So let's defend this part as much as we can. And there is another KV-2. Oh boy. You know, this is getting worse and worse, and oh man, I just, I mean, there is only one thing I can do, and it went bad, because again, the point was to just lure the enemy, if possible. The enemy again is sticking to the trees, and, and doing absolutely nothing, they're actually not even really moving, they're all really going to the right side to the arsenal, and we can't do crap because of that. And now my guy is opening fire. Who the hell are you? The MP40 Bucker, the leader himself, opening fire right there. He should be able to kill those bastards also. Excellent fire. Q 
he's right there guys come on thank you these guys are dead I think probably dead if not well we're screwed if not anyway let's <laughs> set up the fire pads oh man this is bad this is going bad now I mean they're now concentrating on this part and I can't even get close to them now because of that I was expecting them to attack me, but this really ain't doing any... Uh, nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. And yeah. There goes my plan of Toll World Domination. <laughs> I mean, I can't get my Panzer 3J out because he's gonna get one-shotted by the KV-2. Uh, T-34 is not much of a problem. But KV-2, definitely a problem. Uh, unless I actually move fast over here. Actually, let's get out and try killing guys that are out here. Turn around. If we we're able to one shot the enemy, that would be awesome. Of course, my actually red blue is firing. Blue is firing. Actually. Okay, so the border patrol, motherfuckers. <laughs> like, thank you so much for destroying every kind of strategy I ever wanted to do here. And now we're gonna screw it. And there it goes. T34. Uh, well, we are opening fire actually on T34. Can't do shit, really? Oh my god. This is bad. This is so bad. I don't have words for this. This is bad beyond belief bad. Okay, that KV-2 can just one-shot anything I have. Uh, they have only tanks, and I still can't even do anything to KV. There are two KV-2s, T-34, BT-7A. Oh, man, if they would actually just go towards me like little bitches they are, and, you know, that would be awesome. But, of course, that's not gonna happen. That never happens. Ever. Can we at least... Maybe you shoot with the blue or red, like on their heads, maybe. And there they are. They are little bitches. Oh my god, that's a lot of two squads at least, if nothing else. Two squads, actually. Let's uh, tell to the blue also to shoot. Excellent shot. There they go. Now they're on move. Oh god. I'm scared shitless to the T-34 and the freaking KV-2 is moving. Oh boy. Now they're moving. Oh, Axel, now we're provoked the bastard. T-34 moving closer and closer and ever closer. Oh boy. Nobody shoots at the KV-2 yet. Nobody shoots at the KV-2. Fire? No, 30 meters. He needs to get 30 meters. 35, 30 meters. So he won't... Yeah, we won't be able to shoot at this bastard yet. That's totally okay. Do not shoot, I say. Prepare to shoot the T-34. Hopefully we won't shot this bastard. We will, of course, the 88, for fuck's sake. It's the 80 motherfucking 8. Yes, 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 yes. He needs to get close. Oh, miss. Oh, give me a motherfucking break. Come on, for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, man, we are screwed totally now. God, motherfucking whore. Unbelievable again. 
god, motherfucking horde, this VFG is useless. And again, of course, Viper opening fire. Per usual, Viper doing the most damage than any other bastard out there, but we can't do shit against these guys. KV2 there, me, like, in the corner like a little bitch. If we can do at least kill, kill one thing, for fuck's sake. One thing. I'm not asking for much, I'm just asking for one damnable thing to die. Okay, get over here. And let's try this to do with the fire bats, because this is retarded. This is retarded beyond belief. I can't believe the 88 missed that shit. Fuck that 88. Fuck it in the ass. Should have taken the pants of four for fuck's sake. This is retarded beyond belief. T34 damaged. Yay. Yay. Great. Absolutely nothing. We did absolutely motherfucking nothing. Yeah, no munition. Fuck you. A gun crew running away like a little bitch. My freaking things can't do anything against what they have now. Even the Panzer 4D wouldn't do shit against the KV-2s. I can't even imagine what else I can do. I mean, I knew that this would be, again, perilous. But I can't believe that they immediately missed the fucking thing. What the fuck they, were they... Uh, I mean, oh my god. Can't fucking believe this shit. Okay, they abandoned the T-34. Ah, oh, man, this was bad. I hate this shit. Fuck. I have to call for the truce, because this is it. I can't do shit. Again. Oh, my God. I'm going to call for truce. I mean, I can't do shit. I can't get out. KV-2s are just going to open fire and kill everything I have. Uh, where is that other KV-2? He's overlooking that position, right? Of course, you can just easily turn away. Oh, overlooking my ass, he is. There he is. Uh, f gun crew fled. God, motherfucking whore. Just can't motherfucking believe this bullshit. Can't do shit now. Just retarded beyond belief, people. Just retarded beyond belief. One motherfucking thing I had. One motherfucking thing. And that one thing missed the target. Missed the fucking target right in front of it. Because it was looking over this position. Go fuck yourself. Oh well. It's just unbelievable. We kill a bunch of their soldiers and all that. But we're dead. Let's go for truce. I don't have anything. I got nothing. Nothing can do it. I, I don't have anything. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I, I, no way I would do anything. Major victory in my ass. We still, we're like, developing because, yeah, fuck off. God damn, that was annoying as hell. That was annoying as hell. Uh, nobody's resting. Nobody's resting. Screw this bullshit. No one is resting. Armor. I mean, <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what to say anymore. I mean, pants for 75mm, I don't know if it would actually penetrate... Uh, the KV-2 But you know like I don't know honestly if I get the support like I Don't know <laughs> I just have no idea anymore. I mean 41. I mean, yeah sure I have money But oh man, that was bad. That was fucking bad. I mean the I mean the 80 I love the 80 I won the 88 to work as intended but I'm definitely putting it in positions that would not work for it at least on this map so I'm gonna retard maybe you know I'm not gonna refit I'm gonna retard this then I'm pulling get Panzer 4 D this time around maybe but again KV2 is just gonna open 150 fucking 2 millimeter what the fuck is gonna stand that nothing KV2 is just gonna open anything I have 75 millimeter ain't gonna do shit I mean, 88, sure, 88, but 75, I mean, if 75 can actually do anything, that would be awesome, but I have a bad feeling it wouldn't do anything. Ugh, god damn it. 
just don't know what to do here. I mean, you know, I, I'll have to, like, experiment. Yeah, <laughs> God, I hate that shit. You know, experiment the fucking thing. This is the map. We still didn't do shit. I mean, now we're, like, having a little bit more, I guess. But I don't know, honestly. Honestly, I have no idea what to do. I, I'm going to try again with the, uh, with the 88. But this is not going. The 88 is definitely not doing what I want it to do. 41 or like uh, how much is actually the armor medium tank D short barrel 75 millimeter I mean even it's a short barrel I mean what the fuck is gonna do like a, a lot what to walk uh, towards KV I mean, the problems are KV I mean these things will open fire and kill anything I wanted to let me I can try and take all the flags but just suicide run a wolf needs rest. Viper is also bad on morale. Everyone is bad on morale for fuck's sake. Oh man, just man. Okay, day six of ten. I'm so I mean oh my god, day six of ten people, okay? I I came on this map on day four. Okay, this is day six of ten. Just good shots for the, you know, like, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep the 88 and again try. I'm gonna have to find a good thing for it. A refit, yeah, let's do it. I just don't know, I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea what to do here. But I'm gonna wait that for the next video because this, this video just, like, made my freaking head explode. I, man, it was just so bad. I mean, just one missing shot for it. God, motherfucking whore.